Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome to another episode of, you guessed it, 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well. Today we are going to be talking about the differences between a female husko and a male husko. What are the differences? There's so many videos out there of people being like, let me show you the difference between a female husky and a male husky. And then you click on the video and then for like 15 minutes you gotta watch just no one talking, just some dude sitting on a couch and some girl husky doing one thing, some guy husky doing another thing and you're just left to wonder what does it all mean well guess what 60 formula is here right now and i'm going to tell you exactly the difference between a female husky and a male husky the real differences i'm talking the real real stuff most of the people on here that are talking about the differences between female and male huskies are just talking about the differences between an alpha and a beta which is a big difference there's a difference between someone who runs the house <coughs> and someone who follows, which is this guy right here. And those things breed different behaviors and different attitudes. It doesn't necessarily mean because you have a male husky, that's the way he is. It may mean because he's a beta that that's the way he is. So this is going to clear that up. I'm gonna tell you the real differences between a lady husky and a male husky. Hopefully I'll clear it up for you and you guys will feel much better if you're interested in buying a husky or maybe you have one already and you're trying to figure out some stuff about it. Good job, lady. You know what you get for that? A cinnamon toast crunch. Bam! Oh, you want one too, Britney Spears? You want a you want a cinnamon toast crunch? You should never feed your dog cereal, but sometimes I like to do it because they're super good. So in case you are wondering, these are two different sex dogs. The one on the right is a male, even though I call him Britney Spears, and the one on the left is Gila, and she's a pretty little princess, and I know everything that sets these two little puppies apart. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula, and let's find out the differences between a male husky and a pretty, pretty princess. Princess. Let's go! Can I get a nose boob? Number one, when it comes to the differences between female and male huskos. Female huskies are more docile and tolerant. Now that means that they're willing to cooperate more often. When it comes to female huskies, and I kind of find this to be true when it comes to all female dogs, they're just more willing to do more things. They are more willing to sit down at the vet's office and be poked and prodded. They're more willing to do what you say. They learn faster, they learn quicker. It seems that that males, when it comes to Siberian Huskies at least, they are more aloof than females. I don't know if that is true when it comes to every single male and female Husky, but for the most part, most times that I encounter a female and male Husky, the male is often more aloof. I'm not saying they're not smart because male Huskies can be super brilliant, but when you compare them to the female Husky, they are often just, it takes them a little bit longer to learn things. Females are just really attentive. They're super willing to please you. And I don't know, if I had to choose between getting a male or a female Husky to buy a third Husky, I would probably pick a female Husky. Just because in my own personal experience, it is harder for Britney Spears to follow rules than it is for Gila to follow rules, and friends who have Huskies share the same kind of information with me. Males are just a little bit more independent, they're a little bit more aloof, they don't really want to listen to every single little thing you say, and females are a little bit more forgiving when it comes to that kind of thing. So, that's the first difference. Females are a little bit more docile than males are. Difference number two, male Huskies pull harder when skating or sledding. Now, this is just because females are typically smaller and they often can't pull as hard. So if you're ever skateboarding or sledding with Siberian Huskies, if that's like something that you're really passionate about, I don't know, maybe you want to become like a professional sledder with dogs, maybe a professional musher. Well, you're gonna to want to get a male Husky because they're a little bit stronger and they pull a little bit harder. In my experience, when I take both these dogs out to run on a skateboard, or have a little bit of fun, Gila usually doesn't tug as hard as Britney Spears. He's usually on a mission to go places. Gila's just on a mission 
to dog Twitter. Difference number three when it comes to Siberian Huskies, male Huskies typically eat more than female Huskies. Now, <laughs> of course, since they are bigger dogs than their female counterparts, it does make sense that they'd eat a little bit more. Britney Spears has a little bit more of an appetite than Gila does. Now, when I have to feed these guys, I typically give Gila a little bit less food than I give Britney Spears, and that's just because he's a little bit bigger than her and he just gets a little bit more hungry. And that's okay. There is going to be differences in how much you feed your husky if you have a female and a male. And guess what? Huskies regulate their own metabolism. So if you overfeed your husky, typically they're going to let you know, especially a female. What they'll do is they will just stop eating and you'll be like, why aren't you eating the rest of your meal? That probably means your husky doesn't need to eat any more food. Now, if you have a husky puppy, you're probably thinking, my husky eats everything in the world. Well, husky puppy puppies eat anything. When your husky gets to be a little bit over a year and a half old, you're going to start seeing that change in their appetite. They're going to start being a little bit more picky. One day you're just going to give them their regular bowl of food that literally weeks ago they were scarfing down and they're going to be like, mm, can you order Fridays or like chilies please? Because this just ain't working out no mo. So just letting you know, if you have a male husky, you're probably going to be feeding them a little bit more than a female husky. Difference number four. Bless you. Female coats are typically softer than male coats. Now, I'm not talking about the coat you have in your closet. I'm talking about this coat, this furry, luscious, beautiful black and white Dalmatian Cruella de Vil looking thing. Typically, females have a softer and fluffier coat. Why? I have no idea. I think maybe it has to do something with their puppies and giving birth, but typically that's the way it goes. When it comes to Britney Spears here and Gila, they both have really soft coats. Don't get me wrong. I love to just cuddle up on these guys, but I know, and look at him. It looks so much more fluffier, doesn't he? Gila is so much more softer. When you touch her, she's just like, oh my gosh, that is like the softest fur ever. Every time I pet her, I'm just like, dang, you're like a quilt. You're like a silk quilt, my friend. He looks super fluffy. Britney Spears looks fluffy, but this is a little bit more coarse hair. And I don't know why, but the males have a little bit more of a coarse coat. I don't know if it's just to protect them from the weather a little bit more, or it's because they don't have little baby puppos, so they don't need to keep little puppies warm in their belly, you know, because like the little puppies sleep up on the mother when they're really young. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but I do find that when I pet Lady Husky, they are a little bit more softer and fluffier than male huskies. Yeah, time to get crazy. <music> Difference number five, give me five, pow. Difference number five is going to be male huskies typically are more money. I'm talking about just buying one outright. If you're gonna go to a breeder and you wanna buy yourself a Siberian Husky puppy, typically the males cost much more than the females do. Why? I think it has something to do with them being able to pass on the gene. You can keep them intact in the, uh, the nether regions. For the females, they're harder to maintain because they have heat cycles and because they can have little puppies. I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid for these huskies. It's a little bit private. It, but I will tell you, I paid significantly less for Gila than I did for Britney Spears. And what's crazy is Gila is a much smarter dog than Britney Spears is, which, you know, sometimes that just happens that way. <laughs> Someone's getting dominated. And last but not least, the very last difference I want to talk about when it comes to getting a male or a female husky is that females weigh less, but they are fluffier and softer. I've kind of already said this, but males weigh more and they're often leaner and muscular. Now, I guess this is kind of important because if you're really into the looks of your husky, you're gonna want to decide. The lady huskies can kind of get like a big badonkadonk, get a little bit fluffy, you know? Males, they typically stay a little bit more lean. They look a little bit more muscular, but they don't have as much fluff and as much butt. I mean, come here. I'll, I'll literally show you the butt difference. Come here. Come on. Look, Just look at that booty. Look at that whole like I'm just gonna, yeah, you see it? Do you see what I'm talking about? You don't see any hip definition here. It's just, it's just a bunch of booty. You know what I mean? Come here. Now look at Britney Spears' booty. He, I mean, it's like, 
it, you can see the boniness in it a little bit. You can see like the muscularity into it. There's not as much like fluff and like booniness. I, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is the kind of thing you have to take into consideration. Females weigh less, okay? They typically aren't as heavy as a male, but they are fluffier and a little bit more badonky donkier. You know what I'm saying? The males weigh more, but they are leaner and they have a little bit more muscle. Those are the real differences when it comes to Siberian Huskies. Everyone's always like, oh, this and that. Listen, I've seen where people are like, hey, the male likes to get up on the couch and the female doesn't like to be cuddled or the female likes to be cuddled up on the couch and the male doesn't like to be cuddled. That has everything to do with who is the alpha and who is the beta. Most likely, if you have a Husky that gets up on your sofa and you try to hug it or cuddle it and it doesn't let you, it freaks out and jumps away or starts going crazy, that Husky is an alpha husky. It doesn't mean it thinks that it's an alpha over you, but it is trying to compete for the spot of alpha. So when you allow a husky that has that state of mind to come up on your sofa, you're bringing that husky up to your level and therefore offering them to compete for the level that you are on. I'm just letting you guys know that is how dogs think and that's what's going on. When Britney Spears gets up on the couch, he never freaks out because he is automatically beta when it comes to both him and Gila. Gila is the alpha over both of them when it comes to just the two of them. So when Britney Spears gets up on the couch, he never tries to compete with me for anything. He, he, he just cuddles right up on me. He's just, I'm giving you all my love right now. When it comes to Gila, when she gets up on the couch, she has these really, really weird peculiarities. Like she doesn't like her butt to be touched or she doesn't like her feet to be touched and she'll freak out and run around and bark. It's just this weird thing that they do because once they're up on their level, their behavior completely changes. So if you have something like that, just make sure to get them down off the couch and remind them, hey, I'm alpha and you can't do that, Mrs. Lady. Although I do like your toy here. It's pretty dope. It's pretty awesome. Get it. Boom. Good girl. All right, guys, those are the main differences between Siberian Huskies when it comes to the male and the female. I just wanted to set the record straight because so many people out there just bleh. They post stuff on the internet. They post stuff on YouTube. And most of the time, it ain't so true. And I don't like seeing that stuff and neither should you. Until next time, guys, I really appreciate you. Give this video a like if you really appreciated it. Please comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to be part of that Husky community. You know what I'm saying? Also, I just found out that ever since I started doing all these videos, I've only been uploading in 720p, which basically broke my heart. I've been trying to figure out like, why can't I make my videos more than 720p? And then I look and I've been uploading them through my program that I use in 720p. So starting from now on, everything will be uploaded in 1080p. I super, super apologize about that. Don't know why that happened. I'm a noob, I guess, when it comes to technology. All right, guys, thanks so much. As always, I will see you guys next time with guess what? Yup, another episode of Whatever I Make. Peace!